Hello, for this week's discussion board, I chose the theorist Martha Rogers. Her theory was the science of uni unitary human beings. Martha was born in 1914, she died in 1994. She had a lifetime love of learning. She wanted to do something to contribute to the social welfare of, of people. She wanted to go either into the study of medicine or law. However, at the time, uh, women were not accepted as physicians in medicine, so she then went into nursing. She was an American researcher that believed that a patient can never be separated from their environment when addressing health and treatment, meaning that patients do better in their own natural environment. They learn better, they heal better in their own natural environment. Um, she had a very full career. She worked in very, you know, many different areas of nursing from being a public health nurse when she graduated in 1937 to going to the Visiting Nurse Association where she held various positions from assistant supervisor, director of education, and executive director once she obtained her master's degree. Um, it is believed that she was the first nurse in Arizona with a master's degree. Um, she went on to get her doctorate. She then became a professor and the head of the Division of Nursing at NYU. She eventually retired in 1975. However, she continued to teach. Um, she published many different, um, or had, had many different things published. Three books that did influence nursing research were Educational Revolution in Nursing, The Reveal in Nursing, and an introduction to the theoretical basis of nursing. She also edited for the Journal of Nursing Science. Her theory, the science of unitary human beings, views nursing as both a science and an art, meaning that you, know, you take the knowledge specific to the field of nursing and use the art of, you know, to apply to the, to the well-being of the patient, but use the art of, art of nursing to be creative as to how you care for the patient and teach the patient. Um, viewing the patient and their environment as one, focusing nursing on the people and how their environment influences their health and helps to promote smoother recoveries. She had eight concepts to her theory, the energy field, openness, pattern, pan-dimensionality, hemodynamic principles, resonance, heliacy, which is the continuous, innovated, innovative, unpredictable, increasing diversity in human and environmental field patterns, and integrality. In my personal career, I have utilized this theory um, without realizing it. I've worked home health and done home dialysis, and patients fare better in their home. You know, when you're going in for home health or dialysis, you do get creative as to how you train the patients and using different things in their home that they have to help, you know, with their healing and their recovery. Um, and I've just noticed like over the last few years, a lot of surgical procedures that used to be inpatient stays, like a hip replacement are now same day procedures where the patients go home um, to heal in their own environment. It's just, they feel better, they're more comfortable. Um, they just, you know, fare better in their own environment. And here is a picture of Martha, maybe. Thank you.